Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's Rhapsody time, reality time. Today's message by Pastor Chris Oyakilomi for Monday, the 4th of January 2021 is Promote His Righteousness. Today's scripture has been taken from the book of Psalm, chapter 75, verse 6, which says, For promotion cometh neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. When God puts you in a particular job or business, His interest isn't about the office or your designation. What matters to Him is how effectively you're using your office to promote His righteousness. He wants you passionate for the gospel and the establishment of His kingdom in the hearts of men and nations of the earth. Everywhere you are, be busy for the Lord. Stand for Him. You're His ambassador and a minister of reconciliation as mentioned in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5 from verses 20 to 21. What counts the most in your life is what you do with the gospel for the salvation of men regardless of your vocation. The Apostle Paul in 2 Corinthians chapter 8 verse 23 commended certain individuals who were with him on his missionary journeys. He was proud of their commitment to the gospel and said, They are the messengers of the churches and the glory of Christ. Hallelujah. Praise God. What a testimony. Messengers of the churches and the glory of Christ. What an honor. It makes no difference where you are or what your vocation is. See yourself as a sent one representing the church and the glory of Christ. Preach the gospel. Minister the word to those in your world. The Bible says he's made you an able minister of the New Testament, not of the letter, but of the spirit. For the letter kills, but the spirit gives life as we study in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 6. You are God's mouthpiece. Speak for Him. Do His work. Do great things for the kingdom. Be bold. Let nothing keep you quiet. Keep bearing His message of faith, hope, and love with urgency, for the end of all things is near, as we read in 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 7. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So, be firm in your commitment to the spread of the gospel with a renewed vigor in your spirit. Give your time, give your resources, give your money for the push and the spread of the gospel in every home, in every nook and cranny of the earth. In Mark 16, the master charged us to preach and spread the word of God. So that makes us divine ambassadors, which means we have to start passionately speaking, uh, you know, uh, seeking the expansion of God's kingdom from today itself. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now it's time for prayer. So please close your eyes, lift up your holy hands and pray after me. Blessed Father, I thank you for the grace you've granted me to be relevant in the ministry of the gospel preaching and spreading your righteousness around the world. My life is a testimony of your power as I bear witness of Christ and testify of his saving grace in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you and God bless you.